Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and today I have a fun altered journal that I made. Um, this past week I was at Ikea, and I came across this little set of these fun three little just blank notebooks, journals, I don't know what you want to call them, um, sketch pads. Uh, they were really inexpensive, nice and thin, and a small portable size. And I fell in love, especially with that lovely little mint colored one there that you see. So I'm going to embellish it using a stamp set from uh, Unity called Gardenia Floral Border. It's a Graciel design um, image. And I'm going to stamp this all in my Misty. Now that notebook, it's a little bit thick um, with the red rubber and even with taking my the foam uh, panel out like you're supposed to in the Misty. But it works as long as you're just kind of careful. I'm going to heat emboss my sentiment on the front. There's a little bit of texture to this, so I wanted to make sure I could stamp it multiple times and get a good clear impression. I went ahead and used my embossing buddy to make sure that nothing would stick onto the front of, um, none of my embossing powder would stick onto the front of my journal, except just where I've stamped my sentiment. Um, because of the texture, I have a nice juicy new um, watermark stamp pad, but I'm going to go ahead and ink it and stamp it three times just to make sure I really get a good impression. You can see from the reflection, it's a nice, nice, crisp, heavy, dark impression. And then I'm going to pull out a piece of just white computer paper. Um, since this is a larger project, I wanted to have enough space to pour my embossing powder over. I decided to go with uh, gold embossing powder since I just thought the gold in this um, kind of mint color would go really well together. So once I pull that white cardstock out, I fold it in half, um, crease it, that makes it really easy to pour the excess embossing powder back in. And I'm going to pull it over and just use my spoon and just scoop it on there nice and heavy and tap off the side just to make sure any excess comes off. And it worked really well. I didn't end up with um, really any embossing powder sticking anywhere that I didn't want it, which was really nice. But I pulled out um, dump my extra back in and then I did pull out um, just a large paintbrush just to make sure that there wasn't any little stray bits of powder that I couldn't see and quickly brush them off just with the texture there. I wanted to make really sure I didn't have um, gold embossing powder in any extra spots that I didn't want. So now I'm pulling out my heat gun and I like to just check and make sure it's hot. I wasn't sure how much the cover on this would warp um, with the heat. It ended up actually, it did a little bit just as I did it, but um, it relaxed back down really quickly, so I didn't have any problem with that, which I was really grateful for. Um, I tried to be really careful just to heat it just enough to set the embossing powder and not um, add any extra heat to that cover and make the edges curl any more than I needed to. Now finally, I finished this off by pulling out the floral border from that same stamp set, and I used an ink color that was uh, the same color just a deeper shade um, as the cover of my notebook just because I wanted kind of a soft little bit of embellishment and I was originally going to kind of stamp a frame around the outside and I ended up just putting two borders along the side and then um, my battery died before I was able to finish but I masked off that center part added some gold splatters with my starry colors palette for just a little bit of extra embellishment and that finishes this off hope you enjoyed have a wonderful day